is a little different, I know. I am here with Sanjay and Beans, F1BB Pocket Petite Golden Doodles. Uh, anyway, I am uh, just almost a week out from a spinal surgery where they put a spinal cord, uh, a nerve stimulator in my back. So I am on complete restriction. No bending, twisting, uh, pushing, pulling, none of that. I can't do any of that. So I am here with my daughter, Jessica, and I'm going to go through the puppies and she is going to be the one on the floor playing with them. So this is yellow collar boy. Look at him. He is going to be a soft cotton wavy. This is um, a litter of six. There are three boys, three girls, and all are red. And um, I have, they're all, say hello, hello, hello. Just sitting pretty waiting for me. So sweet. Um, this is the only wavy coat of the litter. Everybody else is a soft cotton. So, um, anywho, yellow boy. I'm going to hand those to you, Jeff. There we go. Or Jess. Um, next boy is orange collar boy. Look at him. Say hello. Yeah. So pretty. And he is going to be a cotton fleece mix um, with a curly coat. And then we have our little red collar, who's the smallest of the litter. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> yeah. And he's another um, cotton slash fleece. And on the girls, the biggest of the girls is turquoise collar girl. And big just simply means she's still the petite size, just um, bigger than some of the others. Look at her. Yes, dark, dark red, curly. Aren't you pretty? She's so sweet. All right, the next biggest of the girls is gonna be purple collar. And purple collar, she's got, she's a curly, she's got fleece and cotton, but her back is a little more wavy so she's gonna have a little more of a wavy look to her. Yeah, look at her little tail, tail's going. Okay, and the smallest of the girls is Pink Collar Girl. And she is a lighter red, more of a medium red. And she is a cotton fleece mixture curly coat. So, yeah. Are you sweet? Yes, you are. Look at them, so we are at our five week mark and next weekend, so not this weekend, but next weekend, we are having puppy picking already. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of let you know what we're doing this week. Um, temperament testing is being done this week. It will not be out until next week. That gives me some time to gather everything together. Um, when we do our temperament testing results, I, put a little paragraph on each puppy and note, of course, what their temperament testing results came out as, but also we kind of go over just their whole assessment. What kind of housing situation I think that would be good for them. Um, what age range I think they're good for. And there, of course, we'll go over their coat, color, and estimated mature weight. So you have all of that information. Um, what we do when we do our assessment is I sit down with everybody who has been working with them and get everybody's assessment on it. So I will have my, even my little kids and will say, you know, okay, have that orange collar. What, tell me what you think about orange collar. Um, these type of things works for me because we often get the need for uh, a family that has maybe a child that is sensitive to dogs that might jump up on them or somebody who's not wanting to, <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me, what are you doing? What you doing? Yeah, we might have someone who's um, sensitive in that way and they don't want a dog that's forward or too outgoing. And that's good for me to know because I, uh, one of my children does have a fear of dogs that are too forward. And so, for instance, they might say, nope, I don't like that dog, that dog jumps too much. And those are little things that I can note so that if you do have any specific requests or needs, 
that we can go ahead and give you all that information. So um, that is all in your temperament testing. And then you guys are coming out next weekend for puppy picking. Some of you are not able to make it in person. Um, so we do do virtual pickings, which means um, we can do Zoom or FaceTime. And um, we can go over your top favorites. Obviously puppies that are already chosen won't be uh, you won't be viewing them. Hello. Hello, little miss. Yes. Hi. Look at those tails going. Yeah. So then um, at the six week mark, we are starting their crate training with the buddy. So we have an even number of puppies here. Uh, everybody will have one buddy to be with. And that just makes them used to the crate. Um, without having it be a bad thing. We don't want them to look at their crate as being, you know, a bad place to be. And we also don't want to traumatize them in any way. So having them with a buddy uh, gets them used to the crate. And then in the final week, they are moved by themselves. When you come to picking, um, I'm gonna send out some puppy picking information for you, but I strongly recommend you have a scented item that you bring with you, whether it be an old t-shirt, a towel, a little blankie, something that you don't mind losing because they will chew on it. They will go ahead and, you know, probably make a mess of it. But bring something that has been in your house that you've cuddled up with. Uh, if you have any other pets, let them cuddle with it one night and bring that. Um, and we will keep that in a Ziploc for you until they're in their crates by themselves. Then they get the scented item. Um, if you are picking virtually, you can go ahead and send that in the mail. Even if you want to do that now. You don't have to wait until picking. You can go ahead and do that now so that we have it on hand when we're ready to go. But um, there should be enough time for you to go ahead and send that in between picking and pickup. Um, and they are going home June 10th. So the petite size, right now, I believe that turquoise is going to be more of the petite size, which is around 15, 16 pounds. Um, and everybody else, I believe, is going to right now. I will make I will make notes of it, but stay in that. What are you doing? What are you doing, Ready? Stay in that pocket size, which maxes out at 15. Yeah. And the only reason I say that with turquoise is she just has a little thicker tummy. And um, so I think she's gonna definitely weigh just a little more just because we like to eat. And that's okay, we love we love chunky monkeys, don't we? Yes, we do. Anywho, so that's basically what's happening right now. Um, week six, they will have their first set of vaccinations, and then they'll be ready to have their second set a week after going home at nine weeks. That is other reading material that I will give you after you've chosen your puppy. Once everybody's chosen their puppies, I will send you um, some training material to look at, and I ask you to read my crate training policy um, or procedures, that is, so that you know what to do in those first days home. And um, it just kind of, it's a guideline for you when you take puppy home. So I will ask you to look at that. I'll also send you a video going through your puppy packet so that um, you are all ready and set when they get home. Our goal here at Lambo Farms is to prepare you um, and if you have any special circumstances to be aware of that so that we can, you know, kind of recalculate, give you a, a new set of rules that may work specifically for you and your puppy. But um, these babies, obviously Sanjay's puppies are all so very sweet and loving and gentle and they're still gonna play, they're still gonna run around, they're still gonna chew on things, but they're absolutely sweet. So I'm gonna let you guys watch them for a little bit and then I will see you guys at puppy picking. Um, because our picking is going to be, we're having the first picks done early. Um, I most likely will not have another video. I will try, but there may not be another video. This may be our last one just before picking. So I will let you know if I'm able to do that, but just in case, just in case. I will see you guys at picking. Have a good week. Thank you.